Good morning, Geelong, on this uh, Friday morning. Been a hot one, hasn't it? Well, sit back, relax, and continue to keep cool. As we're joined by a lady very well known to us around Geelong, a great uh, community contributor, and uh, continues to be so, as she is a councillor of the City of Greater Geelong. I'm very proud and honoured to have her sitting beside me on the couch, Councillor Barbara Abley. How are you, Barbara? G'day, Rollo. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. I, this warm weather, enjoy, I enjoy the warm weather. So do I, I have to say, being a former Mallee girl, don't uh, perform very well in the cold at all, so I like a bit of heat. Well, we should say, viewers, to, to, to Councillor Barbara Abley, welcome back for another four-year term. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, how does husband Barry feel about this? Probably thinks it's uh, one term too many. This but is my third term. Your third term. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, you must, you must enjoy and get a lot of self-satisfaction. You've always been a, a community contributor. Um, probably goes back to your early nursing days and it's, it's been in the blood, hasn't it, Barbara? Yeah, look, I'd say I was asked a question a little while ago about when was the first time you ever volunteered and it was in grade four at Hopeton Primary School and people will recall back in those days, particularly the girls, that they were um, volunteers with Junior Red Cross. So that would have preempted my nursing days, I think, grown with um, a little red cape and a funny little veil that I had in grade four. So. I would recall that was the first time I ever volunteered, I think. Now, you are the uh, City of Greater Geelong Council for the Brownville Ward. There has been some movement uh, in ward boundaries. How has that affected you in Brownville? It's affected me probably more than most of my colleagues. My ward now extends uh, right across from Geelong West to the other side of Eastern Gardens and then basically um, back to the Bowen River, just this side of the race course, and right across to um, Shannon Avenue. So, so it's quite a sizeable chunk, and I've now taken in the CBD and um, um, the residences within Geelong, but also East Geelong and South Geelong as well. So it's quite an extensive shift for me. And I relinquish Cadenia Park. Yes, Councillor Stretch, it can't tell it gets Continuum he, Park. He gets Continuum Park, But yeah. uh, you, you, you're, you're spreading your wing. Obviously, uh, using the experience uh, in that Brownville Ward, interesting, uh, looking back on uh, the Community Grants Program in um, last year, uh, or sorry, up to, uh, well, I think it was about November of yeah. last year, um, from within the Brownville Ward, um, people like the uh, Geelong and District Angling Club, the Geelong and District Poultry Club, the Geelong Roller Derby, the Geelong Trades or Council, the Geelong Weightlifting Club, the Geelong West Brass Band, blow those trumpets, 77 oh, yes. trombones, uh, the Geelong West CFA in uh, auspice by Region 7, the Naval Association of Australia, our old friend Jock McKay, Parents yep. Without Partners, uh, U3A and uh, Smart Geelong, it's a very broad extension of your community programs. Well, it is, and, and you're spot on. I mean, I think all councils have um, interest right across the municipality, not just within their own ward. I mean, after all, we're elected to represent the interests of people right across the municipality. So whilst I have been elected by people within Bramble Ward, my, um, certainly my sphere of influence and interest goes right through to Anarchy and the Bellarine. I call it um, from the Bellarine, to um, the Barrable Hills, out to the uh, B the Brisbane Ranges and the Bay. So it's the four Bs. The four Bs. The four Bs. Yeah. <laughs> and it's Barbara. So That's make right. it the five Bs. Five Bs. <laughs> we've got our Lisa. We've got our Barbara. We've got our Kylie now. So yeah. uh, we're, we're yeah. <laughs> all famous names. Yeah. Barbara, um, you're also actively involved uh, with uh, in in the you love your world of sport, and uh, in particular, you uh, you've been recently. Uh, and for a couple of years, the number one ticket holder at uh, a particular leading Geelong sporting club? The Geelong Rugby Union Football Club. And I uh, was president there for a few years and uh, the number one ticket holder. Rugby union is a great sport. And I think it probably ref reflects just the different interests again and shows just how different um, our municipality is. So it's not just AFL and netball, it's soccer, it's rugby union, it's rugby league as well. So I love rugby union. Barry um, actually has been coerced. He's a member of uh, the Geelong Footy Club, but um, when the football club are playing out of town, 
Barry is our uh, first aider, so he's uh, pretty heavily qualified in that. He knows the difference between AFL injuries, and they are very different to the injuries that uh, our guys in the rugby field have. So, yeah, we won the premiership last year, very proud of them, and we've got a very strong juniors program. So our home ground is out at Flinders Peak. So, Rollo, if you want a different experience, come out and see us. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. A lady of rugby, great to see. Yeah. A lady also as part of her City of Greater Geelong duties who holds a portfolio of arts and culture. And uh, that in itself here in Geelong, Barbara, has, uh, has been an enormous amount of interest over uh, recent years, an increase in interest. And of course, the big thing at the moment is uh, the discussions and the plans for the new cultural precinct. That's exactly right. And um, my portfolio uh, basically appoints me onto that position. Um, it's been very interesting, Graham. For the last four years, I've been the infrastructure, parks and gardens portfolio holder. So I learned to drive a grader, and uh, and I, I genuinely did learn to drive a grader and drove it for half a day out in a little bush track. Um, so it's very interesting now, shifting from heavy duty type, you know, the drains and the, the most basic, but the most important council services to arts and culture, which almost for some people is at the other end of the continuum. So, but you're right, I mean, I'm very much looking forward to the redevelopment of, the, of that precinct, um, not just GPAC, but also the library and um, the art gallery. Um, the whole of the precinct, which uh, if you know people want a geographic location, is basically around City Hall. It goes right around to the Gordon, um, in uh, Johnson's Park, and um, of course the library, and across uh, Little Mallop Street, uh, which we call lo lovingly call the Upside Down Pyramid, the Courthouse, uh, Youth Arts Centre, and GPAC. So it's quite a quite an extensive area, and, this, and the state government have tipped in quite a bit of money. And uh, GPAC have uh, just uh, appointed a new general manager, yeah. Jill Smith. She's been in an acting capacity for the last couple of years. Uh, a wonderful contributor to the world of arts uh, at GPAC. She is excellent and uh, I'm, I um, know Jill pretty well and uh, she's done a tremendous job there. I look forward to working with her in the future and certainly will be doing so in my portfolio again. But I'm also on Geelong Major Events Committee representing arts and culture and Jill as um, the CEO of um, GPAC will also potentially uh, be invited to come along to, to that committee as well. Major events and speaking of those of course one of the big ones coming up uh, Barbara and Geelong is the Masters Games. Yeah look we're looking forward to um, thousands and thousands of people right across Australia taking part in a variety of uh, sports and activities and of course rugby gets a Guernsey there you're most welcome to come along if you've recovered in time and uh, my husband is playing with a group of uh, gentlemen I'll call them the old crocs uh, in cricket <laughs> please don't let him hear me say that but no quite seriously it is a it's a significant event and um, it'll give us a, a great opportunity to profile all of the sporting facilities we've got here and of course welcome a lot of people to Geelong. Another piece, uh, another feather in our cap, of course, is the Geelong Gallery. Yeah. Uh, currently, uh, the uh, major exhibition on true crime, murder and misdemeanour in Australian art. It's on until February. And, of course, the wonderful Eugene <coughs> von Girard view of Geelong. That was a great investment. Uh, and the money that was spent in securing that, uh, that picture was, you know, as truly been, you know, it's repaid, I think, Council and the Geelong community many times over. Um, Geoffrey Edwards, who's the CEO of the Geelong Art Gallery, is an outstanding man, and I would, we would hate to lose him. Um, he is one of the, I think, one of the best attributes that the city has, and he's a lovely bloke as well, but my word, he's an outstanding individual in the art world, and we're very lucky to have him. Yes, great team. Lisa Sullivan is the uh, yeah. curator down there at Geelong Gallery. Uh, Sue Ernst, in the, they're, they're a great crew. And uh, if you're in Geelong, you call in and have a look at their Geelong arts area at the present time, arts and culture. And, of course, don't forget the Masters Games coming up in February. Where? In the city of greater goodness, the city of greater Geelong. Yes, we are the capital of Victoria. Melbourne, you're the north northern suburb of our great town. Thank you very much for your time this morning, Barbara. Graham, thank you very, very much uh, for having me on your show. Good morning, Geelong.
here on Channel 31. Take a break, and Megan Holbrook will be back with you after this.